Hey guys, so I am super excited to be sharing a crock pot recipe with you today. It's a favorite around here. It's called chicken bacon ranch mac and cheese. So here are the ingredients. I have a bag of boneless skinless chicken breasts. I have some bacon, but you can also use bacon bits. I don't have any bacon bits, so I'm just gonna make them myself. Um, some Italian cheese, I have two bags there, some of the bacon ranch, and of course, some elbow macaroni. All right, so I'm gonna try my best to shoot this in vlog style as much as I can. If not, you might have some voiceovers here and there. So we're gonna go on and start by adding in your frozen chicken breast. I'm adding, I believe I have six, because the, I've noticed that the ones that are bagged, they tend to shrink as they cook. So that's why I'm adding more. But if you were gonna use fresh, then I would add maybe four and that should be enough. So after that, I'm going to add my bacon ranch. Okay, so trying to do this without doing a voiceover just did not work for me. So I'm just gonna empty the entire bottle of the bacon ranch dressing onto the chicken and I'm going to let it cook on low in my slow cooker setting for two hours. Now you know it really doesn't take chicken breast that long to cook. Mine are frozen so I just gave it two hours. You have to know your crock pot and this is a recipe that I would keep checking just to keep from overcooking your chicken. After your chicken is fully cooked, you will want to remove it from the crock pot and chop it. And add in your elbow macaroni into your remaining sauce. Along with the Italian cheese. And your bacon bits. Now I started out with two cups of water to cook my pasta. You may wanna check it and make sure, but I ended up adding a half a cup more. So you'll just have to check your pasta and see if more water is needed. And then you're gonna add in your chopped chicken. Now this next step is completely up to you. You know how I am about flavor. So I added in some black pepper, some of my Kinder's blend, some garlic powder, a little onion powder and seasoning salt. But hey, you do you and I'm gonna do me like Tabitha Brown said because it's my business. So you can do this if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. and allow it to cook until the pasta is done. It took mine about another two hours on low. And here's the finished product, y'all. It's so creamy and so delicious. If you like the bacon ranch flavor of anything, you will love this recipe. It is just jam packed with flavor. I'm also gonna have the Pinterest recipe that I follow kind of as a base um, down in the description box as well. guys that's all for today i hope you enjoyed today's recipe let me know down below if you're a chicken bacon ranch fan all right i'll talk to you guys later bye